please note, throughout this logical proof, it is assumed that all interest is spent within each load cycle, so that each cycle is self-sufficient for interest. This is done to simplify the explanation and focus the proof on the principle as the source of a growth imperative, independent of interest. The twice length principle dynamic would still apply if there were no interest, if there were flat fees for loans, or if interest were allowed to be paid in goods and services. Twice lent money is a bigger problem than ever before because almost all money now enters existence as debt. However, the same dynamic applies if gold coins or physical cash is twice lent, a situation that can arise once the money supply is concentrated in the hands of the powerful due to economic parity, economic power disparity. A situation that can arise once the money supply is concentrated in the hands of the powerful due to economic power disparity. The fundamental problem is two debts of the same principle creating a borrow from Peter to pay Paul and borrow from Paul to pay Peter perpetual debt. On top of this fundamental problem we can add that in the real world loan cycles will be used to dis direct at least a little bit of the interest into new principle like rolling a snowball to make it bigger. Thus it is rational to expect that the illustrated equilibrium is probably not the real world case. In the real world the snowball of twice lent money is going to grow indefinitely. Principle created or extinguished interest recycled first lender $100 loan the person in receipt of the $100 second lender $100 loan time is money